the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group started out of a bunch of photographers on the river that loved the horses and wanted to see them preserved. And when we found out that they were in big, big trouble, we compiled all of those photographs into data that we then used to actually save the horses. In July of 2015, the Forest Service first stated the impound notice for the Salt River Wild Horses. They had to be removed within seven days and all owners needed to come pick them up or they would be impounded and disposed of. They would end up in the slaughterhouses. It was an absolute horror. We knew that something really big had to happen to stop this horrific event from happening. We sent out 6,000 press releases all over the country and then even some internationally. And we asked the press to please come see the Salt River Wild Horses because it's gonna be the last time you can see them and we have to try and stop this. Throughout the days of being on the news, the Arizona public said we cannot let this happen. We did rallies and protests. We got hundreds of people showing up saying, no, we're not gonna stand for this. With the help of American Wild Horse Campaign, we were able to negotiate to give them a 120-day reprieve because of all of the public outrage. And then through our negotiations, they canceled the entire roundup notice. And from there on, we fought for a bill that has now gone into effect as per January 1st, 2018, that now is protecting the horses today. Under that bill, we have to still agree with the Ag Department on a protocol on how do you mainly manage wild horses. Yes, there is a way to manage wild horses humanely, and that is through Dartable Humane Birth Control PZP. We have an amazing darting team, and therefore we can start to control the birth rate of this herd. The goal is to get this herd to have a stabilized population to where all of the authorities are happy with how many horses we have and all of the public is happy with how many horses we have. And through controlling that birth rate, we're effectively reducing the population, doing it humanely, and making sure that not one horse ever has to be rounded up from the Salt River. It's the vision we've had from the beginning, and it's amazing to see it slowly but surely come to fruition. So it's been amazing having American Wild Horse Campaign as our national coalition partner to be a combination of a local organization together with a national organization, I think has really helped us not only gain support, but also gain power with the people we were negotiating with. So I think it's imperative that national organizations work with the local organizations and vice versa. So we hope to be working together for a long time to come until we prove that the only way to go is humane management for all wild horses everywhere.